Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to WWE 2K14. 30 years of WrestleMania. We have approached WrestleMania 11. I need you to hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can for this new... Uh, uh, wait, what do you call it? F so after 10, so it's like a new... Because it's like 10, but then he said a new 10 starts at 11. You know what I'm saying? Probably not. Regardless. <laughs> Without further ado, Undertaker versus King Kong Bundy. What? At the 1995 Royal Rumble, Undertaker faced Erwin R. Scheister as a part of his rivalry against Ted DiBiase's Million Dollar Corporation. During the match, King Kong Bundy, another corporation member, interfered and enabled the corporation to steal Undertaker's urn. Oh no! With Undertaker's urn stolen, which was said to be the source of his power, the Phenom set his sights on the man he, fe well, he fa feels was responsible for the theft, King Kong Bundy. At WrestleMania 11, the world would find out if King Kong Bundy, the walking condominium, so many reasons. Never mind. Could overcome the power of The Undertaker. Couldn't have picked a better. Regardless, without further, please don't have a video package for this. Thank God. Uh, hit an old school signature move on Bundy. Body slam Bundy. Win by pinfall. Look at that giant ass urn. My goodness. Oh, man. Well, look, for the first, like, 20-something years of his career, Undertaker was undefeated at WrestleMania. So I, I think, spoiler alert, I think we all know how this one's gonna end up. However, however, we don't know how or why or when. Well, we know when, because they said it at the beginning on the screen, but we don't know how. I mean, we kind of know how, because it gave me steps to do, but we don't know if I'm gonna do them correctly. There's always that factor. Human error. Look at the million dollar man. Theodore Lamar DiBiase Sr. Jr. The Bundy, my God, looked like a... Just someone carved a person out of a potato. Or something. His opponent, though! If you want to use the word GOAT, I don't think too many people would disagree with you. Perhaps the greatest character that has ever been spat out into the world via the brain of the people that run the company. Oh, he ain't got no urn. He's talking to his hands. That's usually where the urn would be, but he doesn't have it. The dead man cometh. Look at this. Man, this Undertaker was badass back then. This Undertaker, and then I, I say it all the time, Ministry of Darkness Undertaker is my favorite Undertaker. I don't know. I'm trying to think if Ministry Undertaker had a had a memorable WrestleMania match. I think he had a match against Kane, maybe, during that time, or maybe that was afterwards. I don't remember. All I know is, tonight, Mr. Bundy is going undy. You gonna call me the undy, the Bundy taker, if you will. See what I did? I took, un, I took under, with, but with Bundy, and I combined them. It's okay. I don't blame you if you can't keep up. Look at the Undertaker. Stiff as a board, white as a ghost. Taller than many, better than most. Oh, that was dope. <laughs> Somebody put that on a t-shirt. The 11th WrestleMania. And The Undertaker in a spotlight match. Against, let's, let's not forget King Kong Bundy. That man was the, uh, the opponent for Hulk Hogan in the main event of WrestleMania too. So this man, this man knows his way around WrestleMania matches. The Undertaker is just beginning what would be the amazing streak that it became. But he's only a couple, what, he started WrestleMania 6 or 7, something like that? He's only a couple deep. No one had any idea what it was going to be like. But now we know. Press A to initiate the front face lock. Press A again to buy slam. I do that in my sleep. Close line. Hey, come here, bud. Nope. I didn't want your back. I want your front. Come here, bud. And I'm gonna just hit you with the. Oh, that's what you thought. Reverse. Reverse that. 
Close line from the Taker, man. Doing what the Taker can. Coming here, gonna hit you with the body slam. Oh, it's too early. It's too early. It's too early, dead man. It's fine. I'll wear him down. Yeah. Too late, your mama. Wait. Irish whip to the corner. Taker might be in trouble. Psych, psych, psych. We got Bundy right where we want him. Elbow to the king. King Kong Ding Dong over here. Thinking you something special. Guess what? I am the man of death. Ooh, need the midsection. Some even call me the dead man. How about this? I'm a stretch, I'm out. Ooh, ha, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, I canceled it, nope. Come on, Taker. Hardly. Ooh. Oh, you wanna taunt? I'm taunting back, oh! Okay, Undertaker though. We got this, we got this. Oh, this is gonna be a long taunt, isn't it? Maybe get up, maybe get up. Oh, crap. <laughs> Take her again with a big strike. No, reversal after reversal. What a contest here. Here comes the, oh. here comes the dead man with the leg drop. And now, DDT. We almost had that signature though, where are we at? What's the status on that? Look at him, choking him up. Yoking, oh. Yoking him up, choking him up. Reversal. Signature. Not gonna use it yet though. Oh God. Cause I don't think this is where I gotta be for it. This, oh wait, no. Why does it always do it? Why does it always do it? Stop it. Stop it. No, go back. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, wrong button. Wrong button. No, oh, okay. <laughs> gotta get him to the, I, I feel like I gotta get him to the corner probably. Probably, probably, that's probably where it is. Boy, if you don't get. Undertaker, go, good job, good job, good job. Yeah, what, oh look at Paul Bear! Helping your boy out. Bundy shoving him away. Oh, now I gotta finish her, son of a B. That's not what I want, well now I gotta use it, now I gotta get another signature. <laughs> look at this! Tombstone, it could be over right now if I wanted it to be. Just you know, Bundy, just so you know. Body slam from the dead man. That's one of the moves I had to hit. <laughs> You'll get old school when I feel like giving it to you. Oh, we got. Uh, see, why can't you do that before? Get stuck in a corner like that. Yeah. Close line again. The dead man cometh. And there's not a damn. Oh. This man's bleeding. This man's leaking. This man's leaking. Not a damn thing he can do about it. Oh, oh. <laughs> really? Except, of course, reverse. That's always an option. Oh, see? See? Yeah. Big strike. All right, Taker. Come on. We got this. Pray to the urn or whatever it is you do. Oh, here it is. We are on the way. On the road to victory. E-A-G-L-E-S. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Where's the signature? No, show me the, no, wrong one, special moves. Undertaker, uh, old school, standing in front. Oh, really? I just had to stand there? Oh, okay, well, I didn't know that. Oh, I would have done it way earlier. <laughs> All right, well in that case, come here, Teddy. Oh, you running real fast than me for no reason, can you relax? Oh, you really messing me up, I had a flow going. Reversal. No, don't hit it like this. Big boot. Now we got him. Now we got him. Bundy Mania. No, it's a finisher again, son of a <laughs> Oh, Bundy. How lucky are you? Oh, you're so lucky. Oh, The Undertaker. Look at the blood spill. This is, this is a statement from the dead man. This is where The Undertaker became more, oh my God, than a superstar. He became a legend when he destroyed the one known as Bundy, Solomon Grundy. It's over for you, bud. Taker's going old school on you. Turn him over. 
Ref count real slow. And the three count. The Undertaker victorious at WrestleMania once freaking again. Man, what a match that was. Should have been a lot shorter. That's kind of my bad. I would, you would think though, you would think his, his signature would be like a choke slam in the middle of the ring. And you would think like a old school would be a corner jaw. I don't know. I feel like it was an okay assumption. Either way, the GOAT stands tall at WrestleMania 11. But folks, we ain't done with this show yet, apparently. I don't know what other matches are they gonna, are, is the Lawrence Taylor Bam Bam Bigelow match in this? I don't think so, right? I could be wrong. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not. It's Diesel versus Shawn Michaels. Oh Lord. Diesel made an impact when he entered the WWE as Michaels bodyguard. Wow. I completely forgot about this match. <laughs> Shawn Michaels and Diesel, as I'm sure many did, for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 11. And this wasn't even the main event, right? This wasn't even the main event. Oh, man. I can only imagine. I can only imagine how Sean and Diesel felt about having to go on not last, I believe. Or were they on last? I don't remember. I, either way, I remember the main event of this being, you know, promoted as Bam Bam Bigelow versus Lawrence Taylor, which is just, which is just asinine. <laughs> when you really think about it, which is just, just pure asininity, honestly. It's like, it's like if WrestleMania 35, 36, 37, whatever, let's like, oh, let me think, Johnny Gargano versus, uh, Tom Brady or something like I don't know something some ridiculous some ridiculous like that he'll be like what the hell is this I can't believe they actually got away with it back then letting a an NFL athlete wrestle in a match at Wrestlemania I mean I, I guess it did what it had to do got them the ratings it wanted possibly but Big Daddy Cool is the champ and he's putting this title on the line. And wasn't this, I'm sorry, I'm reminiscing. Now, see, this is why I love doing these episodes because now like all these memories and, and things come back to me. Wasn't, wasn't this the same year that Sean won the Rumble from the number one spot? And then you don't even like celebrate that by giving this man the main event and he doesn't even win the title in the match. Like, Oh man, if I was Sean, I would have been heated. Man, you know, it's it's pretty common knowledge just if you're a wrestling fan that like Sean was pretty tough to deal with back in this day. I can't imagine this made it any better. They've only got themselves to blame. Some look at that man and say he's the was one of the worst WWE champions of all time. Some people say it. Some people say, hey, it was more just bad timing. Personally, I don't care. <laughs> Sean versus Diesel. Friend versus friend. Former friend, I should say. Once allies, now adversaries. The kid of heartbreak. The coolest large daddy. Y'all ain't even ready for it. Black screen gotcha. And here we go. Who am I? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hit him with the big boot. Okay. Oh, big knee. I assume the big boot is... Is a signature or something, maybe? Because that's not a boot. <laughs> probably. It's probably like a sig. I should check now, but I won't. No need. Let's just wear, let's just wear him down a little bit see what happens. Did Diesel actually fight with the jacket? Oh, yeah. He, yeah. I guess. He fought with the vest on? I don't remember that. Whatever. Shawn Michaels, though has no idea that he is just one year away from the biggest moment of his career. I, I feel like that was kind of a uh, sorry about WrestleMania 11 thing, but let's not count our chickens. Oh God, before, oh God. This man is not as fast. 
before they even had had some Maru. And oh, can you stop bumping into this man, please? Big knee. What does say? I gotta get him to okay. Big boot. Let me just check. I might as freaking well, right? Special moves. Big boot is Irish whip rebound. I, that's what I thought. That's, that's what I would have tried to do. That's what I would have tried to do. I'm proud of myself for knowing that. I just wanted to be sure. So let's save some time. Bam! Dropping down the man of heartbreak. And right now, Big Daddy Cool is wrestling circles around Shawn Michaels, which many did not expect. Oh, too late. That's what you thought. From the top. Oh, too late. Can you? Can we not? And oh, the athleticism of the heart. Great kid. Oh, right to the shoulder. How you feel about that? Here comes Diesel. The Diesel Fuel is on the run. Uh oh. Come on, Sean. Guess what? You about to kiss the foot. You about to kiss the foot. Irish whip. And the big booty! Let's go! That only got him to credit. That only didn't even get him to, to medium damage. What the hell? Big Daddy! He's feeling it! Are we gonna see the Jack Knife to Shawn Michaels? Big Daddy Cool is on top of the world. Probably should have went for the pin there, Big Dad. I was just saying. Go for that knee. I don't think I've ever seen him do that running knee. I could be wrong, though. Maybe I just don't recall. I don't think I paid a lot of attention to him. Diesel now. Diesel. Not for nothing. Oh, God. Diesel pushes off again. It's that running on his neck. Turned his own neck around. Be careful, Diesel. Oh! Come back from Sean. That's what you think. Oh. Hey, get off me. Ha. Oh, hit him. Hit him with a power. Oh, he wants he wants a jackknife now. I probably should have saved it. Oh, the height that he just got on Shawn Michaels. Shawn wanted a comeback. Oh, God. Big Daddy said, uh-uh. He said, uh-uh. Oh, my God. A right hand. Unlike which you have ever seen. Big Daddy, the champ. Jackknife, pin him in 10 seconds. He's gonna be a rope break. All right, one, two, three. Diesel retains the championship at WrestleMania. Did the game freeze? Hello, okay, there we are. Oh, we got the damn bell on already, that was quick. It looks like he didn't even change out of his entrance. <laughs> right, he's like still got the belt around his waist, he's still got his entrance vest on. It is Diesel time in the World Wrestling Federation. Whether or not that would turn out to be a good idea. I guess you gotta stay tuned and find out. Up next, WrestleMania 12. The moment Shawn Michaels has been waiting for his entire life. It's a moment I'm sure y'all been waiting for your entire life. Hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Much more. 30 years of WrestleMania coming your way. Like I said, I love doing these. We get to reminisce about, you know, fun old WWE WrestleMania moments. And it's pretty cool. Thank you for stopping by. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time. Peace.